My name is Larry Baylor. I'm a distinguished scientist here at, at Oak Ridge. And what I do for a living is I shoot hydrogen bullets into large donut-shaped plasmas. At least that's what I tell people at a dinner party. Fusion is the process that goes on in the sun and the stars. It's a nuclear process that produces all the radiation that enables life here on, on Earth. And what we're trying to do is develop a fusion reactor device here on Earth to uh, harness that energy in a controlled manner. And we do that by producing very hot plasmas, about 100 million degrees, that are in a large donut-shaped device surrounded by a metal vacuum vessel. And we use large magnets to contain the plasma in that device. What our particular group does here at Oak Ridge is we are involved in the fueling and stabilizing of these plasmas. I'm sure you've seen pictures of the sun where there are large solar flare events where a big flare uh, of hot plasma jet uh, leaves the sun and, and sometimes can even damage satellites and communications here on Earth. Well, our laboratory plasmas and our fusion devices have similar sorts of edge instabilities, which we call edge localized modes. And so what we are involved in is trying to minimize the size of those so that they do not damage the a wall of the fusion device. And uh, the way that we are doing that is shooting very small millimeter size hydrogen bullets uh, into the plasma edge to sort of tickle the edge of the plasma, if you will, to keep it from building up pressure and uh, having these solar flare-like events of any significant size. And so uh, our group here has been developing the technology to produce these uh, hydrogen machine guns that produce pellets of millimeter to two millimeter size at 60 times per second. And frozen hydrogen is only about 10 Kelvin in temperature, which is about 10 degrees above absolute zero. So it's a real challenge to make a machine gun that can shoot this type of material at 60 times per second. And so um, we have recently done experiments using this technology on a fusion device in San Diego, where we do a lot of research. And it was very successful at tickling the edge of the plasma and reducing the size of these solar flare type events. And so uh, this looks like a very useful technique for uh, ITER. ITER is a very large uh, prototype fusion device being built in southern France that will demonstrate for the first time uh, useful amounts of fusion power coming out of a controlled reaction. And uh, the U.S. is about a 10 percent partner in this international effort, along with Russia, Europe, uh, China, Japan, Korea, and India. And as part of the 10% that the U.S. is contributing toward ITER, uh, we are providing the pellet injection system, the fueling system, for the device. The reason we are developing fusion energy as a potential energy source is that there's an endless supply of fuel, and it's an environmentally friendly technology if it can be made to work in the laboratory. Uh, produces uh, small amounts of radiation and uh, activated materials compared to fission reactors. But it is uh, very challenging. It's even quite a bit more challenging than sending a man to the moon. Oak Ridge is unique uh, for this particular field because of the diversity of talent here in uh, areas of plasma physics and engineering various fields of engineering, nuclear engineering, electrical, mechanical, uh, the capabilities here to develop the machine gun type technology that I mentioned earlier using cryogenics, and uh, also the ability to uh, do plasma physics experiments on a number of machines around the world to uh, use the technology we develop here and uh, test it on devices that can produce uh, useful power for the future not necessarily for our generation, but certainly for the generations to come.